morning, everybody. Um, so I am just outside of my dermatologist's office. I wanted to kind of just give you guys a little brief um, just information on why we're here this weekend, but also why we came earlier than just the weekend. Um, it's kind of funny how it all ties in together. So this is going to be lighthearted, but I just wanted um, to let you know so that when we have our little event that we're going to on Sunday, um, that you have a little bit of context, just so you know. So my dad's birthday is May 26th, and it is um, kind of like known that, that he has passed away. We talk about that plenty. Um, the it's good to be home is an homage to him. That's what he would say whenever we were in Disney World on vacation. Um, so his birthday is May 26th. It always falls around Memorial Day. And so every Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, our family has a big... <clears throat> big kickball game um, just because it's kickball is easy for the little kids for my grandma and we have a big picnic um, on the field that was actually named after him because he was very involved in the softball com the softball league in our community um, so right now I'm headed into the dermatologist because he passed away from melanoma cancer so that's skin cancer um, ruthless cancer no cure he um, he lived very long after his diagnosis um, super, you know, tough fighter, all that good stuff. Um, but it's just very important that my sisters and I go and get our skin checked twice a year. Um, and then if anything is ever, um, of question, they, they take it off. I've, I've had plenty of moles removed. You might even notice, like, I don't, I don't, um, heal very well. Um, so I do have a couple of spots on me that I have scars from, from my moles being removed, just, you know, precautionary stuff. Um, so it, if it's a nice, it's May is actually Skin Cancer Awareness Month. It's also important because prom is usually around this time, and I really like to post about um, not using tanning beds, using sunscreen, summer's coming, and all that good stuff. So this is just, even if you don't have a family history, it's great to go to the dermatologist, even just to check, um, because skin cancer is so ruthless, but also it shows itself. It's not like other cancers where um, you might not know it's growing inside of you, it's it's nice in that way that it it does um, show itself. So just be aware of your skin if anything changes, if anything's a freaky color, um, weird size, weird margins, all that kind of stuff. So that's why we're here for fun is the kickball game and to honor my dad. But we had to come because my doctor's only here Thursdays at this office, like Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we just made it work for Thursday. And that's why we're here a little bit earlier than just the weekend. <music> Afternoon, everybody. My work day is done. That's where I've been hiding. I don't know. I'm sure Sarah mentioned that, but but I've been working remote this morning. I'm working remote because my job is awesome. Thursday and Friday, and then we're closed Monday because the holiday. And then I'm gonna work remote Tuesday before we fly back. So I'm not. I'm only using one day of PTO for this trip, and it was a six-day trip. So very grateful for my company for allowing me to do that. And now I'm about to get the grill ready because we're gonna grill some sausage and have peppers and sausage and all this good stuff. But I just wanted to see, uh, say hey, how's it going? Sarah picked me up one of these coconut berry Red Bulls. We're gonna get rainbow cone later with Sarah's godmother and her husband. Rainbow cone is like Chicago ice cream staple, especially South Side. We'll show you it, it's like r super old, super delicious. It's uh, six different kinds of ice cream stacked like a rainbow. We actually went and got a bunch of quarts and brought it to our wedding reception to have it dished out as a, a dessert. That's because we had like a Chicago theme to our wedding. But um, I gotta get this grill started because I don't know if the gas has been turned off since the last time I was here. Also, showers here don't smell like Pirates of the Caribbean. Forgot about that. So that was cool. I mean, it was like bittersweet. It's super nice because they feel extra clean, but I also was like, it doesn't smell like Pirates of the Caribbean. What's going on here? Look at this. We're doing handcrafted Italian sausage bone and beef sausage. I didn't even know that bone and beef was like is a I don't know where else is in the world. I know it's at least in the Midwest, but it's a Italian beef restaurant. Got the grill preheating. The sausage I'm about to put on. And this grill is super fancy because it's actually natural gas. 
And when Sarah's dad and father and brother and uncle brothers built this garage, they actually fed a natural gas line from the house to the garage to power this and to power, there's a heater in there because it's Chicago and it gets super cold. Um, for the garage to be heated and it's like the coolest thing ever because then during the winter when it's all icy and below zero pop a car or two in there turn on the heater to like 40 not even 35 and you'll be good don't have to heat up a car or waste that time and energy to get up and scrape your car off or anything like that but at a benefit is your grill can be natural gas you never have to worry about uh running out of gas in the middle of grilling all right there they are there's all 10 of them and in just a moment they're gonna be nice and tasty and done Ooh, look at them. They look delicious. I'm so ready to eat. I'm gonna have at least two, I think. But was, oh, look at that, perfect timing. I use a timer for when I grill to make sure everything's all even and good. So I'm gonna get this set. In other news, I also put this out. It's been in storage. Very important, big drama in the family. Leave a comment down below. Is that called a hammock or a hammock? Please. Type out your pronunciation in the comment section because Sarah and everybody calls it a hammock. I call it a hammock. Please let us know. We need your help. Do you want to you be in our vlog, Jackie? <laughs> this is my godmother, Jackie. And she just moved back to America from Australia and she's enjoying her first rainbow cone in a very long time. <laughs> she's desperate for a rainbow cone. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday, dear Grandma. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. So it was my grandma's birthday. She turned 83 today, so that's what the clip you just saw was us singing to her. Ah, the green is coming. What? Could you get uh, some uh, baby wipes? We got Ta-ta. You're welcome. So, we got their back. So we're on baby wipe duty. We're on air filter duty because it is 85 hot. degrees in the house. It is hot and um, my mom is known for not putting the air on until the very last minute because she, I mean, it's nice with the windows open, but just tonight we're kind of all like. And with the baby, the you gotta air. keep the baby. And the, cool. grandma. And the grandma. Um, so yeah, that was what that was. We had rainbow cone. Um, delicious. I don't know if I explained earlier, but look what's back. This is back. It has been here since we were here for Violet's birth, and I have felt all but lost in Florida. Wait, since you then. felt all but lost? I felt everything, I felt nothing but lost. <laughs> Messed up that, butchered that whole saying, but I felt nothing but lost without this hat since we were here at the end of January. That's three months without this hat. This is my go-to. So, it's coming back. I will not forget it. I'm probably just gonna wear it between now and Tuesday, even while I sleep. It's uh, been a few hours, it's 11 o'clock. We got some chips. I found, I haven't had these in forever. I found a baggie of Fig Newtons. We're just the only ones awake still. Yeah, well, Grant is in the bathroom, but Everyone went to sleep, and we're just hanging out. Yeah, first of all, we don't sleep. Second of all, we didn't walk six miles today. Yeah, we're very well rested today. Yeah, and so I mean, we're kind of... I sleep anytime, anywhere, because I just take the opportunity whenever it's presented, because I don't sleep otherwise. Yeah, but we also don't want to sleep away this, this trip. Right, like I don't want it to just... But everyone else is sleeping because they're normal human beings, so now we're here on the couch. But we're going to catch up on some... 
some YouTube, watch some old movies, eat a lot of food probably. We might go on the hammock outside. We might, yeah. I set up that. I don't. I, I pointed out. I want to do a time lapse, but I, we were too focused on the the closing of the sausage and opening up of the finished sausage to time lapse the putting together of the hammock. Oh, I also told them to put a comment down below if it's hammock or hammock. It's been a 10 year debate ever since me and Sarah met, or started dating. I was gonna say we met all along. We met when we were what, five years old? I was smitten ever no, since six. then. Six? Mm -hmm. I was smitten. We met like once when we were six. We met once when we were six, but we started like being She's in been in love with me ever since. <laughs> We've been in school together since we were 12. Sarah, stay to sleep. I started the Lost in Space um, series. I got two episodes in. I'm going to start the third, but I know I'm going to fall asleep, so I'm going to sign off now. I even started editing this vlog. So, um, it was a shorter one, but we were still catching up on rest, and I was still working, and it was Grandma Cookie's birthday, so we were kind of relaxing. So I think starting tomorrow, and then it'll be like the actual weekend. And once I'm done working tomorrow, I should be done until Tuesday morning. So that'll be a lot of fun. So should get a little bit more riveting. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for following along on today's vlog. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs button. Um, and check out our Facebook page because our discussion group, I think, is a lot of fun. We have a lot of cool interactions going on. I and mean, everybody who's in part of it right now, thank you. And uh, she's so sweet. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>